Welcome to the MH Forecast. Howdy and hello, folks. My name is Christian Sasser, but you can call me MH4. And a very special welcome to episode one of the MH Forecast I have here with me today. Uh, two of my good friends and the two people who make up the Twitter account, all of the enemies, we have uh, Mew. Hello. And Scython. Hello. So uh, today I have uh, forced you into this Discord server against your will to <laughs> answer a few questions that I have about uh, all the enemies that I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, so can you remind yeah. me, when did all the enemies start? I, um, I can't remember. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, we first started posting the January first, twenty twenty one, and it was like okay. the whole, like a whole year thing. I did not realize that it was gonna take over over a year and a half uh, and beyond. Yeah, yeah. When are y'all projected to finish? In, in it's November. probably like yeah, it's like end of this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not going to go longer than two years. Yeah, probably not. Uh, unless unless, unless Nintendo a... releases another Mario game. Yeah. That's that's actually one of the questions that I had. Uh, in the future, when the project is done, how are you going to treat new Mario games launching? Like, are you going to add to it, or is there like a definitive death date? I mean, if Sai's okay with it, we can keep going whenever. Yeah, I'd, uh, it would really depend on uh, on how things are like going. Uh if i'm busy but uh oh yeah i would definitely be down to draw more enemies uh yeah, yeah. If, if we were needed <laughs> if it's, yeah. like, it's like you're it's the like, man of drawing mario enemies yeah. yeah this looks like a job for all the enemies yeah <laughs> yeah not, um, the, not the twitter account we needed but the one we needed deserve. i said that wrong yeah. <laughs> yeah you need us we don't care but so, you deserve us. Yeah. <laughs> you know what you did, Twitter. <laughs> so that that's interesting. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for the for the record, it's not just us. There's we have a bunch of uh, guest artists that occasionally uh, add their own contributions. And uh, MH4 actually did one of them. Yeah, I need ago. to I need to draw the coin coffer. Yeah, yeah, that's not <laughs> until like September. So you're good for that. So how do you uh, decide on who you add as a guest artist? Because I know there are quite a few of them. Um, well, uh, I, I, can, I can get this. Yeah. Um, so basically it's uh, anyone that we feel uh, would be really cool to have on as a guest artist pretty much. Uh, a, a lot of our friends uh, have, have contributed as guest artists, like mm -hmm. – uh, a few people from a, a friend group that Mew and I are in, and also yeah, some of my friends from the music tournament community, like uh, Altali, who is who has drawn uh, quite a few actually. Yeah, nice. Uh, what made you decide to include guest artists? Was it like a thing you knew from the beginning, or uh, not really? But uh, we just don't want to do all of them because we have other stuff going on. <laughs> so. It's, it's all the enemies. Okay, it's okay, like to help with burnout. Yeah, yeah, true. That's that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's completely fair. Yeah, um, you can tell I'm new to this. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's all good. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to look at my. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, what pushed you guys to start all the enemies? Because this is like a, a huge undertaking. I can I can clearly tell from like being there from the start. This is a, a huge project. So what made you decide to like actually go for it and commit to drawing every Mario enemy? Well, originally I I was just wanting to do it because I saw a couple people starting like draw all the Pokemon, and then I was like, okay, we could do that, or I could do the I could do Mario enemies because. Not very Why not? many people have done that, at least compared to the right. Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a more original idea, I yeah. would say. And, and there's less of them. That's yeah, true. That's true. What made you decide on the enemies specifically? Uh, well, I was just browsing through Mario Wiki, honestly, and then as I, one does. Yeah, America's favorite pastime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then 
don't really really remember what my thought process was, but then I ended up make, making like a list of a bunch of them. Then th this was originally just for me, and I I didn't know that uh, Sai was gonna be a part of it. I asked him if um, if he wanted to contribute a few, and then he just ended up being uh, the second half of it, which is cool. <laughs> You asked if uh, if I wanted to draw some, and I'm like, how about I draw half of them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never knew that. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I I always thought that you guys like uh, got together and were like, hey, let's do this thing together. But I, that's that's really cool. Yeah, it it really started as a uh, as something that Mew wanted to do solo, and then I'm like, that's cool. Uh, can I contribute? And here we are year and a half in year and a half in how many enemies has it been so far like what number are we on as of time of recording uh we're in the middle of uh the fourth i think uh sent enemies so we've gotten up to enemy 400 and we're having a little poll uh to determine who goes on a banner with a bunch of mario enemies on it yeah and I've... I completely forgot about centenemies. That's a, another cool idea that gives you guys a little bit of a break. Yeah. Oh yeah. Much appreciated. Yeah, and and we wanted to like, like I I wanted to do something special for the hundredth enemy instead of just having it come and go. Right. So, uh, I I was I had inspiration from the music tournaments that Sai is a part of, and I couldn't really do we couldn't really do much with just drawing but then we decided on having like a whole like everyone is here as banner like from smash and yeah. uh, i just figured out how the voting would work how the how it would work and then it's been yeah. working out pretty well yeah you guys have got it down to a pretty good science at this point yeah so one thing that has been on my mind for a while when talking about all the enemies like i've actually been curious about this for a long time mm -hmm. Uh, why did you guys specifically only upload the art to Twitter? I mean, we were both on Twitter. It was seemed yeah. easier. I had I had an Instagram that I was reposting it on, starting from like the beginning of the last year. No, the beginning of this year, and I just forgot to post the rest. But we're okay. So yeah. there was an attempt to branch out past Twitter, but it didn't really work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, it it wasn't really gaining traction, even with all the hashtags I was putting on it. So uh, I kind of just yeah. Are yeah. you guys uh, happy with the traction that it's gotten on Twitter? Yeah, I'd say. I am. Yeah, yeah. How many followers do you have as of right now? We just passed two hundred. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Which is, yeah, which is a little bit part of low compared to uh, when we got to a hundred enemies, we had a hundred followers. So the growth has been a little right. bit steady, but part of the reason why i wanted to do this interview with you guys is because i think uh you guys don't really get the exposure that a project of this magnitude should get mm, thank you like i think mm -hmm. with this crazy amount of art that you're pumping out at a pretty much daily basis with a very consistent level of quality and creativity i think that uh it's a shame that you only have 200 followers but still that's nothing to shake a stick at that's insane i'm yeah. very proud of you guys thank you are there any other like quote unquote all the blank projects after the mario enemies or is this a one and done i mean we didn't really have anything planned but i mean mm -hmm. like just like uh, if nintendo releases any mario games then if right. we come up with any other thing we'll figure it out yeah all right yeah it, it would be fun to do i think so, uh, which enemy has been your favorite to draw so far, and which one has been the most popular on Twitter? Uh, popular, I know that's been uh, Dry Bowser by uh, Vyxy, which is oh, yeah. by us. But it, it it was one of the guest artists. Uh, Vyxy is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, for my um, favorite enemy to draw, uh, it was probably Whoosh, uh, two hundred forty-seven. Oh, good, uh, yeah. Let me check. Actually, I haven't looked back at the uh, the uh, some of the, the other fact, ones. <laughs> the fact that you know the number means that it's probably your favorite. Yeah, it's probably pretty. Big uh, 
Yeah, it had like a whole other... background of tall, tall mountain and everything. Yeah, it was really nice. I like that one. Um, some other favorites that I enjoyed drawing. Uh, Hucket Crab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but people have liked that one. I'm just going through. Oh yeah, we ended up drawing a pug for Mario Sunshine, and <laughs> I and I like a uh, cug. Like a uh, basically uh, unused the, the, enemy. The, the Goomba, the Goomba under Pinna Park. Uh, oh, I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it was it was it was pretty funny to to try and match the art style of Cug. That's a funny. Yeah, it, he sure is Cug. He's cugging, all right. He's just cugging along. He's he's, he's just being Cug. Yeah, and I. I also saw there was the, what was it? The Rund Goomba? <laughs> yeah. The they, oh, yeah, we have Rund Pug. Goomba. <laughs> what's, what's the deal with Rund Goomba? <laughs> well, it was April Fool's. I just wanted to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, for April Fool's this year, there was Rund Goomba. Uh, for <laughs> April Fool's last year, I drew Motobug. Yeah, <laughs> like the, I remember that one, the all the Sonic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the Badniks. Yeah. Yeah, to, yeah. To, out of respect for Mario's death yesterday. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I that was that was crazy. I saw it on the news and it was like <laughs> <sighs> I didn't I didn't know what to think. I was like it was like dang, can't believe Bowser would do something like that to Peach's castle. It was crazy. I, I can't believe Bowser. I I can't believe I can't believe it's not Bowser. Yeah, I, I can't. I <laughs> <laughs> moment of silence for <laughs> <laughs> those fallen. Yeah. Anyway, uh, for my answer to that question, <laughs> who's, who's, who's your favorite? Who's the uh, your favorite? Yeah. Um, I don't remember actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that. Uh, anticlimactic. I'm gonna look through it right now. No, I mean that was there's that was there's perfect. just so many to like. Yeah. Yeah. True. Hothead I was think... a good one. Hothead. Yeah, I liked. Oh yeah. <laughs> the first one I actually used like the airbrush tool instead of just solid lines, so that was fun. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That was an earlier one. Yeah, that was 150 something. Yeah. I think one of my favorites just because of how meme worthy he's been so far has been Antoto. Antoto, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> is, Antoto's is, funny. His little face is just so goofy. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Yeah. I th- yeah. Funny Antoto. I searched the server for Antoto, and one of the images I found was one that uh, Mew had drawn of like Antoto hugging the beetle from Kirby. <laughs> that was a good picture. That was a funny picture. That is a good picture. So yeah, I'm a I'm a big Antoto fan. Yeah, big fan Toto. Hmm. That's what call <laughs> I think it's. I... <laughs> uh, oh, also, no, I think... Top Maniac. That was the one I was thinking of. Top Maniac. Let me look that one. Top Maniac from from galaxy it's is, the one i used the, is that one word yeah it's it's the one i used the striker style for oh yeah uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, drawing a spiked top in the mario striker star that was sick yeah it's really cool seeing all these characters that like i had never heard of before yeah and it's like mario has such a wild cast of enemies but like nobody knows more than like a quarter of them yeah, if that. Oh yeah. And everyone knows about like Goomba, Koopa, Shy Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then there's like some of the exclusive ones to like the land games or Galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the, the, like, like you're lucky if Joe Schmo on the street knows what a Monty Mole is. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> you're lucky if Joe Schmo knows who Antoto is. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like any old Joe Schmo should know Antoto. Yeah, we're gonna publish it. <laughs> no, Joe but, Antoto. We're, we're gonna Joe have Antoto. Antoto run for president. I would vote for Antoto. Is he an American uh, citizen? Uh, depends how you look at it. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's we have this entire this whole cast of characters that a lot of people know about a lot of them, but most of them are just exclusive to one game or something, and no one really right. talks about them. Right. I know. I for sure I wouldn't have known like Antoto. Yeah. But that's that's Mario, Mario Land Two, yeah. right? Or the screws that we did for two hundred one. That it was very simple. Yeah, I had to do for two hundred. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> What's been the biggest obstacle you guys have had to overcome in regards to all the enemies? Drawing all the ones from Galaxy. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy had like <laughs> sixty of them. Good grief! Yeah, were they like hard designs? 
Not necessarily, but it was a lot. And some yeah. of them. And neither of us had yeah. like very consistent schedule on that. So mm. we need to keep I, the line. I'm I'm more to blame on that front. I'm not gonna say you're not, but I I also have two slippers, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not gonna agree with you, but I'm also not gonna disagree yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah. And the like the lore behind sent enemies that I've kind of figured out was that every hundredth enemy is like like working behind the scenes to make the whole thing happen. So everyone can get their mm. fair share of like spotlight or something. Yeah. So there's all the enemies lore? A little bit. Well, of course. Yeah. Hold on, I need to call Matt Pat real fast. <laughs> my my close personal friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, of get course. on the podcast. Okay, I think this is my last question. Mm-hmm. How this is kind of like a more uh like question less about all the enemies, but more about like you guys and your experience with all the enemies. Um how did you two, you know, come to know each other and become friends? And has working on all the enemies together as a joint project made you, uh, how has that brought your relationship closer? Yeah, well, we've known each other for a couple of years before that. And mm-hmm. yeah, through like mostly like Twitter community. And we all, right. and a bunch of friends, including us two, uh, joined a server. And then we just got close from there. Yeah, working on all the enemies has made us closer i'd say and uh i definitely agree um because i think before all the enemies with a bunch of friends in that friend group i didn't think uh like i didn't have the confidence to like just just randomly dm them and have a like a chat and now uh i still feel that way but not with me (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'm honored (laughs) that's awesome i'm very glad to hear Mm -hmm. it so i'm i'm glad to hear that this uh project has been a success both in the public front and in the the more personal front yeah mm-hmm. any anything else that i'm not mentioning that you guys want to talk about regarding all the enemies mm. go follow us i guess <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Go follow us i guess that might be important to plug yeah, yeah. <laughs> So what's that Twitter handle? All the enemies. At all the enemies. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And remember, uh, we drew Antoto four times. If that's not enough to get you to follow them, I don't know what <laughs> is. Also, uh, I wish there was a, a part that was like, uh, where if like if we had other projects uh, that, that we wanted to plug. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead and plug whatever you want. Uh, oh. Scython, you can go first. All right. Um, so, like I said, I was in. A, I'm still am in the music tournament community, and two of the main projects that I'm involved in, uh, one that I've created and do music and art and writing for and stuff, is called Lost and Found. Yeah. Uh, it's supposed to go back on track this summer, uh, hopefully, uh, maybe. And then the other one that I just recently actually became the co-director of. Is Ooh. called the Key of Fate tournament, and oh, yeah, no. we are hard at work getting things uh, ready to reveal a bunch more stuff soon. And I'm so I'm super excited for that. Oh, you heard uh, it here. Probably not first, given by the release schedule of this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Key of Fate and Lost and Found. Yeah, yeah there will be links to that down cool below. Projects that he has there. Do you want to talk about that real fast? Uh, talk about which uh, Key of Phaeton and Lost and Found. Yeah, just like what they're about. Yeah, just uh, l- let us know. That that's that's interesting. Okay, so music tournaments uh, are a thing that started about four years ago uh, on a channel called Siva Gunner. You know them, you love them. Yeah, you know them, you love them. They had two events: uh, Siva Gunner King for another day, or King for a day, and King for another day, and those kind of spawned. Its own like mini community, pretty much. Yeah, lots of with yeah, lots of <laughs> a, a lot of different uh, events. Inspired by it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got a bunch of tournaments like like Mashup Week, uh, Elementary, Key of Fate, Lost and Found, of course. Uh, Elementary. El- Elementary is really cool. It's like a a kind of school focused 
the uh, name the name made me chuckle. Yeah. Actually, as of the as of when this podcast was recorded four days ago, we had a big uh, elementary new direct, and re- we revealed uh, three new characters mm-hmm. and uh, a Twitter account and a nice. collaboration with Sonic Roblast Two Cart. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Oh yeah. Uh, it's, just for, uh, for reference, it's May sixteenth, twenty twenty two. And yeah, uh, if you check out that direct, I did the uh, I did the thumbnail or the uh, the announcement thumbnail and all of the sprites for the uh, for the main person talking. So oh, that's awesome. I, I'm just I'm just around on the community, I suppose. You're a freelancer. You'll, you'll see me everywhere. I'm like I'm Sialola everywhere system. Uh, so. What about you, Mew? What? Do you have things that you would like to plug? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, I should have more stuff going on, but I don't. I apologize. <laughs> this, well, then, this, where can <laughs> where can the people find you guys like personally? Twitter and Discord, I guess. I have all right. Um, Twitter. <laughs> Wow, look at you. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm famous. Oh, and YouTube. I have a YouTube <laughs> channel where I don't post anything. Mr. Sialola? Uh you can find me on Twitter at Sialola, uh YouTube Sialola and Newgrounds at Sialola. And there Everywhere. you have it. Oh yeah. Uh, my my Twitter handle is Toxic Napkin. My YouTube is Mew M Y O O. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I want to once again give an extra, extra big stinky wet thank you <laughs> to Mew and Sialola for uh, giving up some of their time to have this wonderful conversation with me about their wonderful project. I genuinely hope that after listening to this, you will go check out all the enemies. Uh, hopefully I get this uh, uploaded by the time they finish it. And if not, you can go check it out and see what all they've done. Yeah. And thank you for having us, I made sure. Yeah, thank you for having us. That was awesome. Of course. I'm very glad that it worked out to where, like, I, I've been saying for, like, months and months and months that, hey, when I start this podcast, it needs to be you guys as the first episode. And I'm glad I was able to keep that promise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're glad to be the intro. So any any closing thoughts? Any closing thoughts? Um, moth Gaming. Moth Gaming, of course. That's pretty much True. it. True. True, moth gaming and, t- and Toto gaming moth actually. Gaming. Toto, well, they, they they're Toto gaming, gaming together. They're gaming, they're gaming together. together. <laughs> they're that's they're gaming yeah. together. The the insect gaming, of course. In insect gaming, there you go. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, well, everybody, thank you for listening, and I hope you had a wonderful time. And I'm going to cut it to uh, editor in post MH4 to give you the outro. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the MH Forecast. The MH Forecast is recorded live in our Discord server, and you too can be on an episode. A link to join is below. For extended and exclusive episodes, be sure to listen on Newgrounds.com. Special thanks to Robo for use of his song, Analog Hero. Bye-bye.